Hello and welcome to Sapporo, Japan. I am at Japan's largest winter festival and it is awesome. In this video, I'm going to show you some highlights from the 2023 Sapporo Snow Festival. I'll also give you some tips on photographing the exhibits here. But first, let's take a behind the scenes look at what goes on into creating a festival like this. Hello and welcome to Japan. I'm back after three years and I'm in Sapporo just before Japan's biggest snow festival, the Sapporo uh, Winter Festival. And behind me preparations are underway, this festival won't start for another week or so. Of course, it takes a lot of people and teamwork, and there are two main groups which contribute. The first are volunteers that belong to the local snow sculpting group. The second group may surprise you. It's the Japan Self-Defense Force. This is the first time the festival has been held since 2020. As a tribute to the medical workers who have helped battle COVID, Defence Force personnel are building a recreation of Florence Nightingale's childhood home. Florence Nightingale was part of a new wave of disease prevention practices during the Crimean War. These are blanks that are provided to the sculptors. They're made from snow, trucked in from two nearby cemeteries. About two to three hundred loads of a ten-ton truck. Once the overall shape is complete, the surface is rendered smooth with a fresh powdery snow and water mixture. Snow Miku is the festival mascot. To quote, it is the character who enlivens the wintry Hokkaido. The design is based on a snow sculpture created for the 2010 festival. Just about everybody here is taking photos. It is part of the enjoyment of being here. Whether you're using a phone or a camera, being able to zoom is very useful. To appreciate the skill and effort, it's great to be able to show some detail. I try to get clean shots of the exhibits, as well as shots that include the crowd. After all, festivals are about having fun, and I like to show people enjoying the festival. I've done a fair bit of concert photography. And one thing I've learned is that if there's action on the stage, you need to be close. And you need to take quite a few photos to capture the right moment. And don't forget the audience. In the daytime you're photographing snow 
And with auto exposure, your camera may think that the correct exposure is to make that snow look grey. I overexposed by half to one stop to get closer to the actual white, but still having some margin so as not to overexpose. It's especially tricky on sunny days because the contrast range is huge. And keep in mind that to stop the exhibits from melting, the big ones face north, away from the sun. So on a sunny day, try to avoid photographing directly into the sun. Especially when it is filtered through light clouds, as it can create a big overexposed area in your photos. On the day we visited, it was mostly overcast, with the sun almost peeking through at times. The overcast light is very flat, and doesn't do full justice to the 3D nature of the sculptures. I had to use some post-production to get the photos to pop. During the day, having a bit of sun coming from the side is much better. However, my top tip for photographing these sculptures is to come after 4pm, when the light in the sky is starting to fade and the lighting is turned on. That's when these sculptures come alive. Shooting before 6pm means that you'll also have some colour in the sky, rather than a large area of black in your photo. Another benefit of shooting at this time is that during the day, the sculptures are competing with the background. But at twilight and during the evening, the lighting makes the snow sculptures pop out and the background recedes. In this giant exhibit, Defence Force personnel have recreated Hohei Khan, a major hotel built in Hokkaido in the 19th century in the European style. It has taken 3,800 defence personnel 28 days to complete. In 2023, because of COVID, the scale of the Sapporo Snow Festival has been reduced. Nevertheless, it is still a hell of a lot of fun. Thank you for joining me on this walk through the 2023 festival. If you like this video, please check out my other ones and subscribe to see new uploads. See you in the next one.